Hello, Gemini. Thank you for tuning into my reading. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what is going on. What messages does Spirit have for you at this current moment? Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Gemini, please? And thank you. Happy birthday to any, to any Geminis that are celebrating a birthday today or you will be celebrating. You will be celebrating a birthday or you have celebrated a birthday. So. Okay, so someone is reminiscing about you or you're reminiscing about someone else. Or you guys are reminiscing about each other. The challenge is instead of doing something about missing someone, it's a lack of action. It's like someone is staying in this manifesting a relationship. Someone is staying in this fantasizing about a relationship instead of actually doing something about it. They continue to hope for the best. They continue to hope for things. But in order for anything to, it's like you can't, you can sit around and manifest all you want, but if you don't take action towards it, it's not going to happen. So this is someone who's missing you. They're hoping for the best out of this connection, but then they're not taking action. Or if this is you, Gemini, we'll see. Yeah, so at the base of this situation, someone definitely wants to return. They want a second chance, another opportunity. They want to make amends. And with this pottery too, it's like they want to like shape things. So they want to put the work in towards this because I, I don't know if anyone, you guys have ever did pottery before, but I used to do pottery when I was younger and it's one of my favorite things to do. I, I also did glass making, but I prefer pottery over glass making. I just love doing pottery. I don't know if it's the native in me, but I love doing pottery. But it takes a lot of time, effort, it takes concentration. So someone definitely wants to put in the work towards this connection, but the issue is they're not doing it. Either this person is realizing that's exactly what they need to do, or they're just wanting to do it because the challenge is hoping. I'm going to say what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that this person is realizing that they need to like go ahead and take action. Because again, in the past, the issue with this connection was instead of taking action, someone continues to fantasize about a connection with you. They fantasize about it, but they didn't take action towards it. Okay, let's see. What's the most likely outcome between Gemini and this person? What's the most likely outcome between Gemini and this person? Exhausted. Feeling like you've been taken advantage of. Yeah, feeling like this was a waste of your time. So some of you guys are just going to get exhausted with waiting around for this person. And you feel like you've been taken, like your kind heartedness has been taken advantage of. Like someone is just expecting you to wait around because they see the beauty in you. They see that you're a kind hearted person. You're not like other people that's just going to rush off into another relationship or intentionally do something to break their heart. But you're exhausted with this connection. That's what this person doesn't realize. I'm definitely getting this as someone who has good intentions towards you, but I'll, I'm not getting that they're on your frequency, and that's the true issue here because I'm definitely seeing someone who has some sort of insecurity here, and they're needing to, like, work through it, and they may, you know? Okay. How is this person viewing Gemini at this time? How is this person viewing Gemini at this time? They view you as their twin flame. 
and they feel like that's the reason why they can't move on from this connection. They feel like you're holding their heart captive here. How is uh, Gemini viewing the cross washer? How does Gemini view the cross washer? So Gemini views you as their soulmate. They feel like you make them very excited. They have a lot of good times with you or they at least, I mean, the times that you guys shared this, like Gemini is looking at it like some of the best memories that they have. But they definitely get like this good feeling whenever they think about you. What is your advice for Gemini regarding this connection? What is your advice for Gemini? So, okay, I'm going to say two things. There, if you're the masculine, you're the one that's needing to take action here. That's what I'm getting. Because it's definitely someone in the secret admirer energy and with masculine energy popping up, this is advising action. So I'm definitely getting, I'm going to say this because I'm being corrected because we all have masculine and feminine energy. Whoever the secret admirer is that's suppressing their emotions, they're needing to speak up. They're needing to take action towards this connection. If you want anything out of this connection, you need to speak up to say something. And if things don't work out, then okay, it's not the end of the world. There are more people. But if you know that this is your connection, you know that this is your person, then you need to speak up. You need to take action towards it because whoever you're dealing with, they're getting fed up. What is this person's feelings towards Gemini? What are their feelings towards Gemini? They feel like you're being prideful about this situation and that's why you're walking away, but they do feel like you're leaving them behind. But they also feel like you're being a little arrogant, stubborn, and they feel like it's hard to get through to you. What are their intentions towards Gemini? What are their intentions towards Gemini? Okay, clarify distracted for me. I just want to make sure that this is. So this person thinks that you're infatuated with someone else. They think that you're distracted by someone else. They think someone you're opening your heart to someone else. So, but what are their, what do they plan on? I'm, I'm not getting anything then. I don't get that they intend to do anything because they feel like you're already distracted by someone else. And you're too stubborn to approach. Like they're, like the energy that I'm getting from this person is that it's kind of pointless to even approach you because 
for one, they feel like you're being stubborn and arrogant and you have walked away from this connection. And they also feel like the reason why you walked away from this connection is because you have, you're dealing with someone else. You opened your heart to someone else. I'm getting that they're obsessing about it. Like they're constantly thinking about it and wondering about it because you can, I mean, you can go out and date other people, but the person that you really love is always on the back of your mind and you can be sitting across the table from someone, but thinking about someone else and wishing that it was that person there instead of the person that you're talking to. So I'm definitely getting that type of energy from your person. The energy that I'm really getting from your person is they're the type of person to lower their standards in order to feel safe and secure. Like they know that, like they will rather deal with someone who is infatuated with them, not a healthy type of love versus dealing with someone who truly loves them because they're afraid of like falling that deep and getting their heart broken. What are Gemini's uh, feelings towards the cross washer or the person that they're dealing with? I can't stand why I drew up the cars. What are Gemini's feelings towards the person that they're dealing with? What are Gemini's feelings towards them? Gemini feels like you want them to chase you. And they feel like They feel in some way, I'm really getting more like they feel like you're manipulating them to like chase you, like it's some form of like toxic behavior. Because it's almost like they feel like you're trying to trick them into chasing after them. Or trick, they feel like you're trying to trick them into chasing after you. I'm sorry. What are Gemini's intentions towards the cross washer? What are Gemini's intentions towards the cross washer? To establish boundaries. They realize that they need to establish boundaries with you. Like they feel like they have awakened to like some sort of toxic trait that you have and they feel like they need to draw the line. They need to establish boundaries. That is their intention is to establish these boundaries with you. And some of you guys is to make like, to finalize this relationship. What is being let go of in this situation? What is being let go of in this situation? lusting and longing for someone else someone it's like someone is letting go of wanting a connection with someone that they view as non-committal that they feel like this is just a forbidden type of relationship is just like sex based or lusting someone is letting that go they're letting go wanting someone here that they used to feel a lot of attraction towards why why is this what's being let go of? Why is this being let go of? Even though someone feels like they're soulmates with someone, there's deep love in this connection between them and someone else, they feel like first someone feels like clinging to this connection is just going to break their heart. It's just destroying them. 
And someone also feels like their soulmate is still clinging on to a past connection or some sort of past heartache. Whether it's family, friends, like they dealt with a lot of toxic people in their life and they feel like they can't let this go. They keep clinging on to this type of energy and they haven't healed from it. And so that's what keeps this relationship in the one day type of energy. Someday it'll happen somewhere, somehow, another time, one day it'll happen. But one day always turns into another day and another day always turns into one day. So it's like, it's just this repeated theme of it's not happening. This has really turned into like my favorite deck. I definitely want um, some more of these, but So you guys are now in this energy of being focused on your money, you're prioritizing your career, paying off debts, going back to school. You are prioritized, you're prioritizing bettering your life, improving your quality of life. And you started to do that when this connection went south between you and someone else. Now, Someone that you dealt with in the past, they're they're realizing after dating other people here, after exploring other options, they're realizing that you are the best thing that they have met. You are the best person that they have been with because they are saying you're my favorite. You're the person I want to call when something good or bad happens. The first thought when I have news to share, you're my person. So that's what someone is realizing. The issue is, is that this is the same person that ghosted you. And they're in this, I'm sorry I disappeared. I needed to get away and clear my head. I'm definitely getting, yes, you are dealing with someone that needed to heal. They needed to go through some sort of healing here. And they're like coming towards in their future, like this goes to six months here. You guys have someone that wants you to hear them out. There are so many things I want to say to you, but will you hear me all the way out? Will you believe me? I'm not getting that you are. I'm really getting that you guys are just really done with someone here and you're leaving this connection in the past. You're ready to move towards something new. And until something new comes towards you that is of quality, you're going to continue to focus on your finances, improving your quality of life. You're not willing to lower your standards. You guys have literally gone through some sort of spiritual awakening. You did the healing and you're still doing healing. It's a constant process here. It's like new level, new devil. I don't even like throwing out devil. That's just toxic energy. But it's like even it, it doesn't stop. You're constantly improving your life. You're constantly healing and learning things. That's the whole process of being here. So once you learn to accept that, that the only consistent thing that's a part of this life is change, then you'll always be in this ungrateful um, state of mind and you don't want to be there. I'm definitely saying whoever I'm talking to, you have learned that concept. You have mastered the lesson and you're no longer willing to entertain this connection even though I do get that you have love for this person, but it's more of the type of love. I wish you the best. I hope you can wish, uh, wish me the best, but it's just time for us to go our separate ways. 
it's like we went our separate ways let's keep it that way like you're realizing this person didn't walk away or they didn't leave you for no reason you're now realizing that it was all a part of a divine plan and you know that there's someone better coming towards you The overall energy is the five of swords in reverse, which talks about someone who regrets their actions in the past. Like they're regretting walking away from a situation or being overcritical of someone else. So you guys could have dealt with someone who made you feel like you weren't worthy of their love. You weren't worthy of their attention. Like they, they were better off without you. They could do so much better. And come to find out you are the best thing that they've met. You are the best option that they had. So now they're regretting the way that they treated you. They wish that they could take things back. Because with the Nine of Cups being in reverse, unhappiness, lack of fulfillment, disappointment, underachievement, arrogance, snobbery. This is also, it also talks about overindulging. So, and that's just like your emotions. You're allowing your emotions to get the best of you. So this is someone who they're not happy with the choices that they made in the past and it's affecting them emotionally, mentally, physically as well. Because they were being arrogant. They were acting like a snob towards you. Currently, bad planning, overanalyzing, not taking action, which we discussed was the root of this issue. Someone stayed in this energy of fantasizing about you constantly thinking about a connection with you but yet they fail to take action playing it safe avoiding taking a risk two of wands in reverse is someone who stays stuck they stay in this manifesting phase instead of taking action so yes we are all we're supposed to manifest you do your vision board write out a journal but if you don't take action towards it, if you say you want a million dollar house, but you're not making those moves to bring in million dollar type of money, then what are you doing? You have to act on it. So this is someone who stayed in their comfort zone. It's like, I, I want Gemini to come towards me. I don't want to get out. I, I don't want to risk being heartbroken because I really do like Gemini and I have these other options but the person I really care about is Gemini but they will be the ones to break my heart and I don't want my heart to be broken so I'll just stay in my comfort zone but then they end up breaking their own heart we talk about this all the time whenever you try to prevent your heart from being broken you end up breaking it yourself when you're too afraid of someone else breaking your heart, you end up breaking it yourself. Because then you're in that mindset of shoulda, coulda, woulda. What would have happened? What I shoulda did? What I wanted to do? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. This is letting someone know how can you expect to receive something when you didn't put any effort towards it. You reap what you sow. You didn't put any effort towards this connection. You don't get no connection. 
So this is what someone is realizing. They want you to hear them out. They want to talk to you. But the issue is they're not reaching out to you. I don't even think Gemini will listen to me because I ghosted them. I ghosted them because I wanted to stay in my comfort zone. I'm not happy with my decisions in the past because I realized Gemini was the best person that I've had. Now, if Gemini was the one that did this to you, take it as it resonates. Use discernment. I'm not going to baby anyone here. I mean, it's common sense. If you know that you weren't the one that ghosted Gemini, then take it as it resonates. just like a spiritual message but I'm not going to do it I'm just after I get out these love readings I'll go back and do general readings for everyone so I'll just be rotating between love and general so let's get some I don't know what that was let's get some final oracle messages for Gemini please and thank you spirit of love and light truth and clarity what final messages regarding love do you have for Gemini Okay, I'll need them to shuffle again. I got these upside down. Gemini, you got new love coming in. This is popping up in current energy as well. Okay, so you got new love coming in. They're saying that this could be the one. So you guys realizing as you get to know someone better here, you're realizing this could be the one. This could be the one you spend the rest of your life with. Your advice here is to express your love. Don't get in your head about this connection. Be yourself. If you, if, pray to the universe. Pray to your spirit guides. Pray to God. When you get in this energy of compromising your character for a connection, say, wait, wait, wait. We, we, we've been through this. We, we've been through a healing. I'm repeating some toxic traits here help me get back on track because if someone does if you're afraid that someone's not going to accept you for who you truly are because of the connections that you entertained in the past is a problem because that mask is going to come off see addictions it codependency and addictions are just a learned behavior this this is just a learned behavior so some of you guys with codependency and deception here, like you have learned to be dependent on wearing a mask to protect yourself. But you're being advised not to do that. Be true to who you are. Be true to yourself because whoever you're attracting, they want you. And I guarantee you from what I'm getting, this person is observing you when you're not even realizing it. So if you switch up on this person, they're going to be like, wait a second. That's not who I was attracted to because they were actually attracted to you, not who you want to pretend to be for this person to like you. See, they like you when you are being yourself. So continue to be yourself. And if you feel like you don't know how to be yourself because this is a learned behavior of yours, 
in order to protect yourself or this is what you do to get people to like you, you don't have to do that because this person already likes you. So when this new love comes in, the more you get to know this person, you realize that they could be the one. But your overall advice, remember, Gemini, be yourself and express your love. Be honest with this person. Let the mask down. Get rid of it. Burn it. Torch it. If you feel like you have this, you still are entertaining this type of energy or you're still doing this, then there's still some healing that needs to take place. And that's okay. I get there. I get uncomfortable being intimate with other people at times. And I have to check myself like, wait a second, am I being myself? Am I? But it's a learned behavior and that's okay. We have to learn to check ourselves, to be honest with ourselves. That's a part of the healing process. If you can't be honest with yourself and you know, you know that something is off, then you're gonna continue down the wrong path. Then you hit that tower moment because the universe has to say, wait, wait, wait. You, you done got off track again. And in order for us to get you into the star energy, we got to shake things up. We got to tear down that foundation you built because it's false. So they don't want you to do that again. So you're being warned in advance to get to know yourself. That's why you need to get out, find out what you enjoy to do. What do you truly love to do? Spend time on your own don't it shouldn't be like this is what my friends like to do oh i want you to meet my friends because you feel comfortable around someone else if your friends are there your family is there no you should be comfortable to get to know someone all on your own so i'm going to leave it there these are the messages that came through for you at this time. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment this reading resonates. With that being said, many blessings to you all.